With shark alerts continuing on the surf coast, extra patrols have kept a close eye on the thousands of swimmers in the Lawn Peter pub. Thankfully, the only drama was a heart-stoppingly tight finish. The world's largest ocean water swim race dazzles on a still summer's day at Lawn as 5,000 swimmers compete in the annual Pier to Pub. It's become tradition. Once you start, you sort of, you can't stop. The youngest, just 12. I was pretty good. I did a lot better than I expected. I mean, I thought I'd be like at the back, but... At 86, Dot Dickey was the veteran. You are the eldest of everyone here. How's that feel? Bloody awful. <laughs> She completed her 31st swim. Puffed. <laughs> no, it was a, the best swim I've had this season. Susan Berg, who survived a boat accident in Western Port Bay 31 years ago that killed her mum, dad and brother, faced her fear and swam competitively for the first time. It's nice now to have broken free of, uh, of, of that and, and just enjoy the water again after all these years. For the men, it was a one-second difference for first and second just was lucky enough to stay on Max heels and catch right past him. Pulls from us, I did what I could in the water and obviously my legs couldn't handle the run at the end. Harriet Brown led the females. Yeah, it's awesome to win again. I mean, this is my sixth time now, but every time it's, it's such a relief to finish. Hard, very hard, but the conditions are actually good, so that just shows how unfit I am right now. Oh, it's certainly tough when there's so many uh, people swimming the event, there's coughing kicks in the face and scratching. I mean, it's a good fun swim, but yeah, it does get tough at times, especially the start bit. With increased shark sightings along the surfed coast this summer, including six great whites yesterday nearby, organisers have extra patrols in place to keep competitors safe for the 1200 metre race using helicopters, jet skis and boats. No, there's plenty of people there, plenty of people to get eaten. Uh, the sharks are not going to get us here. No, there's plenty of people there, plenty of people to get eaten. Uh, the sharks are not going to get us here. Even Dot wasn't scared. Oh, who cares? <laughs> Paul Dowsley, 7 News.